Hey everybody, this is Blue Beam Man, and I am back. I apologize for taking such a delay on making my next video, but I wanted to talk about the custom columns. And um, this is in something called the markups list. And the custom columns, I believe, um, this area down here of making some of these custom columns is one of the most powerful items in all of Bluebeam. And this is where a lot of the magic happens. So I'm gonna start to go through just an introduction on where to find this and how to generate and what some of these things are. And then some of the videos that are gonna follow are gonna go in a little more depth. So let's kind of get into it. Now you're looking on my Bluebeam here and what you're seeing is you're seeing a lot of data over here. And I, I did do some, some tests as well um, in here just to show you guys. But basically what this is in my markups list, I put it off to the right here and you can right click on these little um, icons and you can ask them to be attached to the left, right, bottom or to detach them. I like to put the markups list on the right. That's just because where I like to do it. But what the markups list is, it is a, a like an Excel representation of every markup that's on a PDF drawing in Bluebeam. So if I click on this call out, it's going to go to that call out on the page. If I zoom into the page, which is really cool, and I click something like a door contact because I work in the security business, um, it's going to jump me right to that section. So I really like this markups list. It's basically everything that you put on a PDF is available to you that you can search and go find, and it's all counted in this markups list. Well, the markups list consists of a lot of these uh, default um, from space all the way up to page index. These default, I would say, columns that you can then turn on and turn off. So I can turn on the comments tag. I can turn on the date. I can turn them on and off. Well, when it gets really cool is when you can start to do something called manage columns and you can do custom columns. That means that you can put any kind of data you want into your drawing. So say you want to put parts and pieces of, or prices or hourly labor rates or um, anything that you could think of, you can put in these custom columns. So imagine it like just adding a column to an Excel spreadsheet, but doing it manually. Now, when you add a custom column, you want to click add, and then you type the name. So I'm just going to type in here, test four. And so what kind of custom columns you can, can you create? Well, you can create a custom column list that has a text. It's just an open text field where you can double click and type text. You can have one where it's a check mark, where you can just have it check. I don't know, in case you want to maybe do some kind of, I don't really haven't used the check mark too much, but maybe you just want to confirm that you've done something. The choice is really cool. I'll come back to this one in a second, um, but there's a date. I don't use the date too much, but you can have a custom date um, column in there. Um, say if you had like different revisions to a plan and you wanted to mark the date as to when the revision was done and you wanted to enter, enter it manually, you could do that. There's a formula which this can go um, way deep on a whole bunch of different things, but you can add and multiply and subtract different custom columns in different formulas. So if you had part quantities times an hourly rate, it would give you a final number and we'll cover that in a different video. Number, which is really neat because it's just a number between, it's just a numbering sequence. Um, like if you wanted, to, I'll show you kind of each one of these and you have text. So let's start with text. And um, I think I have text in here. I have number four is a number. So let me go and modify this real quick. Let me modify this back to text and we'll just go okay. And now that you made this custom column, you can double click on here and then you can type. Pretty simple. Now the neat thing about custom columns, which is also really cool, is that when you go to your properties tab, you'll notice that all the custom columns are available in the properties tab. So as you're clicking on different things, you can add data to them right here because this is part of the icons properties. So that is the text. Now the next one, which is really neat, um, and it does take a little bit to get back to it. Um, let's see here, custom. And if I modify this and let's go look at what a choice is. On the choice, I typically, when I click add, this is gonna be the first item in this drop down, And I will do a space because I always wanna have a blank spot to choose. And I will go test, let's see, test two. And let's go test three okay and we're gonna go okay and okay now what you notice here this one has changed and if I double click on this section I now have a drop down this is really cool especially if you have 
Um, if you're a company that has the same parts you sell over and over and over again and you build a custom takeoff model or a custom icon model and you can embed hourly rates, you can embed a whole bunch of different things into these choices and it gets really powerful. You'll kind of see when you can kind of export and import this custom column set into every single drawing that you want to. So the choice is really neat. Let's go into the next one here. Go to manage custom columns. Let's go to modify. Now the next one, they're, they're not, I mean, date is date. That's pretty simple. Formula gets pretty complex. I'm not gonna go to in this video, but you can kind of go off the deep end on different formulas that you can add up on your drawing. Um, I think here, if I type in text, um, there's like these different units and wall units, these different functions. Um, I mean, it's it really, I don't have a lot of experience in this. Um, I really don't, but I know there's, you can do a lot of different things with your different variables from your um, adding your counts to your heights, to your depths, to your lengths. So a lot of measurement stuff that maybe an electrical or a general contractor would use to, to multiply things out. But I don't use these too much because they don't really function, I think, with the custom columns. But again, I, I'm just going to digress on that. I just don't use the formulas too much um, in, in what I do for work. So I'm going to go back in here to um, the number. The number is also really cool. And so in the number, imagine that you want to have a column that says, like, I want to count all the toilets and or maybe doors. And this is just says door. And I want to see how many doors are. If I click here, I can say two and I can double click on this one and put two. And what it does, the number is it, it tallies up um, the total that you have embedded here into the top. So this could be hours. How many hours does it take to install an access control panel? It takes two and then it tallies up the hours at the very top. So it's kind of neat. You can do, you can kind of come up with a lot of things. So now that you kind of know what custom columns are, you can add a column with text. You can add drop down menus. You can add numbers. You can add dates. Then you can let your imagination goes, go wild with building in um, some data. So that this video series in the custom columns is gonna go for, I don't know, we can talk about this for probably five different videos, but I wanna give everyone just a brief overview of that Bluebeam has the ability to add vertical columns as wide as you wanna make it and embed as much data inside of every single markup so that you can kind of work smartly, especially if you have um, work smarter. Um, if you have standardizations where you have parts and pieces where you wanna to start to really use and put your markups to work. Um, so the last thing here, uh, and just the this first overall um, video, just kind of getting people just kind of aware of the custom columns is you can't export and import them, which is really neat. Um, you can also save it to your profile, meaning that the custom columns are always gonna show up the same way every single time when you log into a drawing. Um, I don't like to do it that way, at least, at least the way I work. I bet you this does have an application somewhere where someone is working on the same thing over and over and over again. So you can export this list. If you click export, then you can export this file to your desktop, save it, and then you can go and import it into each new drawing you get. So if you do build a custom model set with, say maybe you're an electrical contractor and you have a specific device, I don't know, maybe you're doing a, a low voltage takeoff um, or design for like a data drop and that one data drop has the network jack, the back plate, the back box, the, you know, the, uh, the hours to install and you have all that data here so then you can tally it up quickly at the top. You can see how many hours. Um, you can pull that information from these custom columns. So that, that is really what it's all about. Um, it's all about your imagination, but knowing that you can embed as much data as you want into this custom column list. And I, I have some a little snapshot here that I made, a little training slide, and it kind of shows some of the things like making the custom columns, clicking add, um, you can double click, all that kind of stuff. Um, then you type in the name, you put the stuff in there and off you go, right? So that is the, um, the custom columns. And what I recommend is that if you have a question for me, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Definitely like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to start uploading a lot more Bluebeam videos um, for, to help the Bluebeam nation around the, the world. Um, 
Bluebeam Nation around the world. Just to help all the Bluebeam community, um, if you have any questions, feel free to answer, uh, feel free to ask and like this video. Um, I guess it's, I'm gonna start building out this YouTube channel um, called Epic Life Skills. And this is kind of a really cool skill to, to leverage um, if you're in whatever market that uses Bluebeam. Um, it has just an absolute ton of value that you can provide to, you know, the industry if you're using Bluebeam in. I haven't seen uh, one application where Bluebeam hasn't been able to impact somebody's workflow, um, you know, positively. So that's the video on custom columns and more to come as we kind of dive into each individual workflow. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.